Hey friends, welcome back to the Queen's Cabinet. Ken and I are getting ready to start our Alaskan journey. We are going to be cruising on the Queen Elizabeth. This is a total bucket list thing for us. We've wanted to do it for years and years and today's the day. Super excited. Come along with us. How big that ship is, oh my gosh. Here is our room, it's cozy. It has a shower, little vanity area, everything you would need. There's a desk area there with some coffee and water, our bed, and I guess that's for room service. Oh, they have a puddle of champagne in there. Did you order that? You did? You're fancy like that. A closet. And then what's that there? Oh, another closet. Oh, great. Got robes. Robes. Robes and slippers. Do we? Oh, we do. Okay, we're gonna get unpacked. For lunch, we're having I don't know what I got. the faith, I guess you'd call it. It's a smoke cow. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. This is too many. Say hey, everybody. Hey. hey. <laughs> we just finished lunch, and now we're taking in some of the sun rays on the back of the deck here, and it's just delightful. We have thoroughly enjoyed our time spent here in Vancouver. Such a beautiful city. While we were waiting to set sail, we saw several seaplanes land on water. I had never seen that before. We also saw several bald eagles flying overhead. And the only bald eagles we ever had seen were in the zoo. So this was a special treat for Ken and I. We're at sail now and we're just leaving the port. And it is smooth sailing, let me tell you. So beautiful. In a safe place, I got room to breathe. Been a long chase, but at last I'm free These open woods, I knew I could find peace here Nothing like the city where I got tired of the running The catching up I got hungry for the stunning High mountain tops So I made some plans, some dreams to catch To promise lands, to find my path The grand staircase reminded us of that scene out of the Titanic where Leonardo DiCaprio comes down the staircase so Ken <laughs> reenacted it for you. Beautiful table. Ken and I are having breakfast in bed. <laughs> and I usually only get this on Mother's Day, so this is a real treat for us. And they brought some nice fruit and some tea. Our first port was Ketchikan, and it is known for salmon, logging, and totem poles. We took a bus to the Totem Bight State National Park. Hey, good morning, Juno. Nathan Jackson, one of our master carvers down south in Saxland. He 
carved out. It was um, raised, I think, three years, two years ago. It was raised two years ago. The sculpture to your right, all of the local people posed for that. There's a welcome to catch a can sign in the background. There are 14 Native American totem poles and a clan house that is made entirely out of western cedar. You smell it as soon as you enter the house. The main house beams weigh over 7,000 pounds and the house housed about 50 people, many families. The opening of the clan house was a small oval door. The reason it was made so small was to force a person to enter in a vulnerable head down position. So if they were foe, they could easily be bonked on the head. <laughs> if they were friends, they could come in and they could share with the clan. <laughs> the center totem of the clan's house represents the maternal side of the family and the lineage. The outer totems have on their party hats and their talking sticks, so they're welcoming people in. There was also a beautiful view of the waterfront. We got back on the bus and decided to take in a lumberjack competition. It was a little commercialized, but the lumberjacks were kind of hunky, so us ladies didn't really mind that much. <laughs> and they did a great job illustrating the skills needed to be a lumberjack.
had lunch at the Alaskan Fish House. We're having Alaskan king crab. Yes, sir. And Thank you, Mom. sample of salmon and how we want it. What a feast. We took in the views of the harbor and milked <laughs> every last moment we had in Ketchikan. It was a wonderful, wonderful village. And as we started to sail away, we could only dream of what our next adventure might bring us. Our next port will be the port of Juneau. And we have some big excursions planned. So I can't wait to share those with you. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys later and see you in the next Alaskan adventure.